The death toll after that shocking blast in Beirut has now risen to at least 175 people with 5,000 or more injured and scores unaccounted for. Investigations are already underway to find out why or how 2,750 tonnes of ammonium nitrate could be stored in a warehouse so close to the city. The fallout is being described as a national catastrophe in a country that spent decades battling wars, internal conflict, terrorist attacks, corruption and all the economic and social chaos flowing from these. The people of Lebanon are showing stoicism in the face of yet another disaster. And of course, tens of thousands of Australian families have strong connections to the country. So the trauma hits home here directly, with at least one Australian killed in this catastrophe. But have a look at the horrible, divisive conspiracy theory, the knee-jerk anti-Israel blame game that went to air unchallenged on Channel 10's The Project last night. People are more likely to believe that this was an attack, a military attack, possibly by Israel, who knows, than uh, an accident. Is that just because of a general culture of suspicion of government, for example, and of the geopolitics of the region, or do they have kind of more specific reasons for doubting that explanation in this case? Well, I mean, obviously there's a, there's a historical aspect here that cannot be ignored. You know, Lebanon and Israel are never in, in good terms. And so there's always this tension going on and people are always expecting something like this to happen. Um, so it's just a matter of time. But, I mean, like you said, the official version is it was an accident. So until proven otherwise, we I, I can't say anything else. <laughs> Profit, no qualification or distancing by the project's host, just a divisive, baseless, anti-Israel conspiracy theory floated, not on the dark web, not by some extreme right or extreme left anti-Israel group, but by a mainstream commercial television program. Even Hezbollah hasn't tried to blame Israel. This is the ugly sort of blame shifting that fuels anti-Semitism and fuels hatreds in the Middle East television hosts and producers, if they're going to cover serious issues, really ought to do better than this. In Syria, Iran is trying to establish permanent military bases against us and has already launched missiles and drones into our territory. In Gaza, Iran is arming terror groups to launch rocket attacks into our cities and terror attacks against our civilians. In Lebanon, in Lebanon, Iran is directing Hezbollah to build secret sites, to convert inaccurate projectiles into precision guided missiles, missiles that can target deep inside Israel within an accuracy of 10 meters. Hezbollah, listen to this, Hezbollah is deliberately using the innocent people of Beirut as human shields. They've placed three of these missiles on conversion sites along Beirut's international airport. Here's a picture that's worth a thousand missiles. Here's Beirut International Airport. Here's the first missile site. It's in the Uzai neighborhood, on the water's edge, a few blocks away from the runway. Here's the second site. 
It's underneath a soccer stadium. That's the soccer stadium. Two blocks away. And here's the third site. It's adjacent to the airport itself, right next to it. So I have a message for Hezbollah today. Israel knows, Israel also knows what you're doing. Israel knows where you're doing. And Israel will not let you get away with it.